welcome back to another team of the season player review. Today we're going to be reviewing the 89 team of the season version of Tony Kroos at centre mid. Before we begin, if you guys want cheap ultimate team coins, go ahead and check out UT Coin Rank. I should leave the link to the website and the Twitter down in the description. So as you can see there, we picked him up for 275 thousand coins played nine games scored five goals which for a centre mid is absolutely is a fantastic return also two assists in there as well which wasn't too bad let's have a look at his stats five star weak foot three star skill moves medium medium work rates uh, standout stats being he's 92 passing and he's 89 dribbling but he does also have 88 shooting but apart from that his other stats aren't the best you know he's more of an attacking player anyway his normal card is at cam um, but predominantly played centre mid throughout the season for Bayern that's why they put him at centre mid and that's why his defending stats and pace isn't too high. well pace because he's six foot tall but that's why his defending stats aren't too high his stats predominantly favour his cam card which obviously he is the team I'm playing him in it's the second variant of the 4-3-3 formation you've got the likes of team of the season Royce at left wing then you've got Abamyang, Shakiri at right wing then you've got team of the season Kroos team of the season Lam at CDM then Gundogan as well at left centre mid then you've got Alaba at left back the two centre backs Big Dog Naldo Santana Peace Check at right back and Vidan Fella in goal anyway let's head over into Kroos's in-game stats Kroos's in-game stats he is 22 he's six foot tall weighs 172 pounds from Germany prefers the position as Cam centre mid CDM and left mid right footed medium attacking work rate medium defensive work rate and as I mentioned earlier, five star weak foot and three star skill moves. Onto his physical attributes, the only one that stands out here in the dark greens is his 95 reactions. Apart from that, he's got 84 balance, 81 agility, and 80 stamina. Onto his mental attributes, the only one again that stands out here is his 86 vision. Obviously, being a centre mid, his passing is going to be high, and that's why his vision is up there at the 86 mark. And finally, onto his skill attributes, these are the ones that blow everything else out the water. Dark greens everywhere. You've got 99 long shots, 98 shot power 92 volleys 94 short pass 92 long pass 92 free kick accuracy and you've also got 94 ball control and crossing 95 curve and 90 dribbling which is absolutely fantastic you've also got 84 finishing on there as well which is decent for a center mid and you've also got 81 penalties on there just in case you ever need him to take a penalty Onto the gameplay side of things now, and Team of the Season Kroos just proves that you do not need to go out and spend millions and millions of coins to get your hands on a really decent Team of the Season card. For 275k, he is an absolute bargain. After using him for, a, what was it, 10 games I think it was, I would have happily paid double what he's worth. 275k, is, as I said, is an absolute bargain. I'd have happily paid 5 600k. Similar to um, De Rossi and Gerard that we reviewed from the various Team of the Seasons that we've done so far. Anywhere in and around the edge of the box, it is in. Top minus every time. His dribbling is absolutely fantastic. His passing is really good. He is as strong as an ox. His pass here just proves that. Look, fucking ridiculous long ball to Royce. Passing is absolutely fantastic. Strong as an ox, being six foot. Never gets mustered off the ball. And his shot is absolutely to die for. This long shot here proves that. But as I said, anywhere in and around the box, it is in. He scored a couple of screamers in these clips. Long shots are just absolutely ridiculous. Power, more power, and even more power on top of that. I'm going to give him a 9.5 out of 10. I know usually you're probably going to say, why, if he's that good, surely you're going to give him a 10 out of 10. He's not perfect. Obviously, the only thing that lets him down is his pace. Only having 62 pace hinders him slightly because then he can't burn past a few players. But apart from that, he is absolutely ridiculous. If you've got the coins, he is definitely, definitely worth it. Anyway, guys, that is pretty much it. If you did enjoy the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe for you new around here. If we can hit another 100 likes, that would be absolutely fantastic. Go ahead and follow me on Twitter as well. The links that will be down in the description. Remember to go and check out UT Coin Bank for your coins. And apart from that, I'll see you guys later on. Goodbye.